Good morning. It's Thursday. It's not Friday. Usually we do our Facebook Live broadcasts on Friday. We. Who's we? It's just me. Uh, Facebook Live broadcasts on Friday. But uh, today we're going to do a, our broadcast on how to buy a bed. And we're doing it on Thursday because uh, Muffin Pants and I are off to Portland to visit my lovely sister-in-law and her family. And then we are going to the wedding of a patient of mine who got inspired about chiropractic, being under chiropractic care and became a chiropractor. And we've stayed friends and I get to go to see her wedding this weekend. So I'm very excited about that. Uh, what else do I have to report that's new? Hmm. Let me think, let me think. Oh, I have a couple articles coming out. On, one on fix.com on turmeric. So I'll be sure to post that when it um, publishes. And then there's a couple other ones coming out too. So if you aren't getting the information about what's new and upcoming with WellFit and Fed, you can just go to the homepage on wellfitandfed.com and pop your email address in on the sign-up box on that homepage, and you will get all the information about behind-the-scenes stuff, like what's being published, where are my articles, and what's the upcoming book, and um, you'll be first to see blog posts, and new recipes, and some private stuff that other people don't get to see. Um, I send out a newsletter once a month with uh, latest and greatest stuff that I've researched over the month, so it's... It's a great thing to sign up for. I, I think you'll really enjoy it. And again, that's just in the sign up box on wellfitandfed.com. Oh, and at the end of the month, I'm going to Chicago with some friends and you're going to get a special treat because I'm pretty sure I have talked uh, Grill Chris um, into joining me for Facebook Live that week. And we might do something on knife skills. We might do something on grilling. Uh, by knife skills, I mean cooking knife skills. <laughs> uh, we haven't decided. So let me know. He's an amazing cook. And uh, we could do lots of different topics. So let me know if there's anything in particular that you're looking for. And that goes for anything Facebook Live. If you have a burning question or you have something about exercise or nutrition or wellness, I'm happy to research it and present it. So um, let me know if there's anything that you are really eager to hear about subject-wise. So we are going to be talking about how to buy a bed today. And... I'm just gonna go through my spiel I give to patients and clients about how to buy a bed. It's uh, not super detailed, it has lots of good information, but there's lots out there. So I'm gonna put some links in the comments below of some other areas you can look on, some tutorials on how to go about buying a bed. And the other thing I'm not gonna talk about is uh, materials, meaning, some people are very concerned about what they sleep on. What kind of um, materials are the beds made of? Is there Are they using fire retardant or not, which they do on most mattresses now? So that subject we are not going to touch on today, but it's an important one to know what you want and what you don't want. And so I'm hoping I can also just pop in a couple articles on that as well in the comments section. So after every Facebook Live, make sure you go down to the comment section and see additional information down there. Okay, here goes, very simple. You are going to buy a bed. There is a field trip that I send you on. The first place you go is to select comfort or sleep number uh, bed, bed store, the sleep number bed. They're called different things in different places. So the reason I want you to do that is because that particular company does an excellent job in talking you through the anatomy of a bed, the pressure points that you might have. They even go as far as to lay you down on this infrared mat thingy that then brings a feedback uh, on a screen of all your pressure points and they make recommendations based on that. And I think that just from an information standpoint is really interesting, even if you don't end up selecting their bed, uh, it's, a, it's a great place to start. So sleep number, 
bed store, go there, let them take you through their spiel. And at my last check, they had four main models. Eliminate the first two. Only consider the top two tiers because there is a very big gap between the first two and the second two. The other nice thing about that particular bed is they have a lot of add-ons. You can do memory foam on top, you can do some different things and that is excellent. And then when you sleep on it for a while, what's nice is you can adjust your numbers. So you can make your bed firmer or softer depending on how you're feeling, depending on whether you have injuries or no injuries and it's great. So that's why I really, I, I do like that bed. Some downsides are, um, in a power outage, you're gonna have some problems because you can lose some air and then you have no way to fill up your mattress. Uh, that's an unusual one, but it has been a complaint of patients of mine. Another one is that you have all this electricity around you with the sleep number and the plug-in and all of that, and I'm not a big fan of that part of it. But the number itself is really cool because if you have two very different weighted people, two very different sleepers, then you can have your number and they can have their number and that's great because a lot of beds you kind of just have to meet in the middle so to speak as far as agreeing on what you want so i do like that and that is field trip stop number one field trip stop number two is to go to a mattress store and what i want you to do is talk to whoever looks like they know the most and ask them to show you their three top brands one down from the firmest model. That's my starting point for you guys. That's where I would really, from a chiropractic standpoint, that's where I'd really like you to be, is one step down from the firmest. Many people go to a very soft bed because it feels comfortable at the time, but I find they break down more quickly, and in the end, it's not supporting your posture in a way that is good for long term. And so if you find a bed that feels super comfortable, maybe even a little bit firm, because remember, it's gonna break in. So those are the ones you wanna do. Now, go home, think about it. The third part of the field trip is to get your iPad or your um, phone with some earbuds and a book and go back and hang out on the two beds you've selected for at least a half an hour. Toss and turn, roll around, don't worry about it, people do it all the time, and so that is really key. Make sure you fully test it. Now, the good news is, is most mattress places give you at least a 90 day return. Doesn't mean you can refund, but it does mean you can exchange. And so that's really good. Now, the third part, well, fourth part of buying a bed is to also consider a couple other ideas. Number one is a Tempur-Pedic mattress or a latex mattress. Those are both the memory foam. Now, I like them. I think they're very supportive. They're very durable. They last forever. They sleep extremely hot, I have found. So much so that they even put out a couple models about a year or two ago that have cooling chambers because they know it's a problem. I don't know if that has fixed the problem. So when you are shopping for your mattress and you are thinking, I love the Tempur-Pedic, if you are a perimenopausal woman or you are a guy that sweats at night, not your choice, okay? Go to a different direction. Even a memory foam topper would be better, but they also sleep hot. So recapping, we go to the sleep number place first, get their spiel, try out their top two beds, find out your number, Look at your little infrared printout on the screen. Then you go to a mattress store and you talk to whoever looks like they know what they're doing and you say, show me your top three brands, one down from the top. You try those three or four beds, go home, think about it, come back with your gear, set up on one of those beds for a good half hour, lie on it, lie on your side like you read, just spend some time on there hanging out. Then once you narrow it down, you also may want to consider Tempur-Pedic. There's also another bed that I'm getting to know that I quite like called the IntelliBed. I don't know enough about it to share details, but it seems kind of cool. Um, and so it might be one you want to look up online. 
And again, for those who just tuned in, we're not focusing today on materials of beds because that is a whole subject in itself. Fire retardant, the fabrics that they use, all of that is a consideration, especially for those who are sensitive to chemicals, but really aren't we all, so to some degree. So I think that is an important subject. We're not talking about that today. So we talked sleep number bed, then go to the mattress store, pick your three top ones, sleep on it, no pun intended, go back the next day and really hang out on those beds. Also entertaining the idea of the Tempur-Pedic mattress. Okay, I think I have a question, Brent David Deniston. Great content, very helpful. We're going to Portland soon, honey. Um, Brent David is at a appointment at the moment, so I'm sure he's surfing while I'm chatting. So, love you, honey. Anyway, so that is the main thing on mattresses. I am trying to think if there's anything else. We're going to do another Facebook Live on sleep position, on sleep supplements, on sleep environment, because guess what? I'm writing a book on sleep. And so I am gathering, gathering, gathering lots of data. And it's just a subject I'm interested in because I am a crappy, crappy sleeper. My husband <laughs> said to me the other day when I told him I was writing a book on sleep, he's like, you? <laughs> I said, who better? I'm the one who's done all the studying to try to figure it out. So anyway, quite funny. I don't know when it'll be up, but I'm enjoying putting some content together for that. Okay, so... We talked about mattresses today. We talked about how to buy a good mattress. You really have to spend about a day and a half. Also, remember price. People shy away from the fact that it's probably gonna cost you $1,200 to $2,000, somewhere in there to get a good mattress. Also, the mattress people are now saying, you know, it used to be when our parents bought mattresses, they were like, 30 years. Well, now the mattress folks are saying seven. So if your mattress is more than seven years old, time to go shopping. And I can't tell you how important it is to make this a priority investment and meaning throw some money at it because the quality of your sleep is so essential, so important for your health, for how you function during the day about Ill, you know, immune systems and illnesses and all of that. It's so, so important. So we need a little bit of a paradigm shift in some people's minds regarding how much they're willing to pay for a mattress. So just kind of get used to the fact that it may be a little more than you're expecting. Okay, so we're going to wrap it up because I am heading out of town with my hubby. But I want to remind you again to sign up for emails on wellfitandfed.com so that you can get great articles and good information and new workouts and all sorts of stuff right to your inbox. And I also want to remind you that the three-day reset is on sale on Amazon. It's almost on Amazon Canada, but I still haven't quite figured out what's going on with that. It's also available on my website. And if you want to purchase it, um, because we're going to be doing a little bit more broadcasting about the three-day reset, so you could have it in hand while we're talk chatting about nutrition and about kind of the, the why behind the plan, then you can go to my website and my online store has the three-day reset. And if you use the coupon code three day right at the end of your checkout, you can get some cash off on this and get it for a steal. So three day reset on Amazon now, but also on the website, you can purchase it there. And I'm your shipper. I'll put it right in the mail for you right away. Okay. So any questions? Oh, hi, Hev. It's so nice to see you. It's great. Yes. I think it's time for a new mattress. I think probably lots of people are thinking that, Hev. Um, and I'm sure there'll be questions after, but do, within about an hour, look in the comments section. I'm hoping to post some links that you can get further information from, and I look forward to seeing you next time. Next week, we will be back on Friday. Yes, we will be back on Friday, I'm pretty sure. I'm not sure what time. And a couple ideas for topics, but if you have a burning question or you have a subject you want discussed, I am happy to entertain it. And so I love you guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. I really appreciate it. And I hope you have a wonderful weekend, long weekend, I think. And we'll see you next week. Okay, bye-bye.